Scientists used to believe that Mars was a geologically dead planet, devoid of any significant activity. However, recent observations have challenged this notion and revealed a more dynamic and intriguing side of the red planet. One key factor that distinguishes Mars from Earth is its smaller size, which causes it to lose internal heat more rapidly. As a result, Mars has a cooler interior compared to our planet. However, this doesn't mean that Mars lacks geological activity. In fact, it holds a rich and fascinating history of volcanic eruptions and other geological phenomena. One remarkable feature on Mars is the colossal volcano known as Olympus Mons. It stands as the tallest volcano in the solar system, towering over 13 miles, 22 kilometers, high and covering an area roughly the size of Arizona. Olympus Mons is a testament to Mars' volcanic activity in the past, indicating that the planet was once geologically alive and vibrant. Mars showcases a variety of other volcanic features, such as shield volcanoes, volcanic plains, and volcanic cones. These structures provide evidence of past eruptions and magma flows on the planet's surface. In recent years, scientists have made remarkable discoveries indicating that Mars is not as geologically dormant as once believed. The NASA Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, equipped with the High Resolution High Resolution Imaging Science Experiment high -rise, camera, has captured thousands of images that provide valuable insights into the planet's current geological activity. Through careful analysis of these images, scientists have identified numerous landslides and debris flows on the slopes of Martian volcanoes. These formations, stretching over 900 kilometers in total, bear characteristic patterns resembling Christmas trees, which often result from strong earthquakes. Surprisingly, some of these traces were not present in images taken prior to 2006, indicating that they formed relatively recently. What's fascinating is that only powerful underground tremors could have caused the movement of such massive boulders observed in these traces. Until now, no such tremors had been detected on Mars. However, since 2018, the InSight spacecraft seismic experiment for interior structure, CEASE, has recorded over 1,300 Mars quakes, revealing that tectonic processes within the planet are still active. While Mars quakes on Mars are relatively weak compared to earthquakes on Earth, reaching magnitudes of up to 4.2, they demonstrate that Mars' interior is not completely dormant. The movements and magma bursts associated with these tremors suggest ongoing tectonic activity, contributing to the awakening of the red planet. The detection of subsurface lakes and reserves of frozen or liquid water in regions like the Martian polar ice caps and the Valles Marineris Canyon system adds to the growing evidence of Mars' potential for sustaining life. One of the most significant discoveries on Mars in recent years is the presence of liquid water and vast reservoirs of frozen water beneath the surface. Radar instruments on the Mars Express spacecraft have detected a massive underground lake in Mars' southern pole, spanning an area of over 75,000 square kilometers. Additionally, smaller bodies of water have been identified nearby. Another intriguing find is the presence of giant reserves of frozen or liquid water within the Valles Marineris Canyons, located along the planet's equator. These water sources cover an area roughly the size of the Netherlands and are situated close to the Martian surface, within the top three feet of soil. On Earth, similar sublacial lakes in Antarctica have been found to harbor microbial life. This raises the possibility that similar microorganisms could exist in the subterranean water reservoirs on Mars. These organisms would have adapted to the harsh Martian conditions, including extreme cold, lack of sunlight, and high radiation levels. While the presence of water on Mars is incredibly promising for the potential habitability of the planet, it's important to note that the water in these underground lakes may be frozen due to the high concentration of salts. If the water is over 20 times saltier than Earth's oceans, even microorganisms might struggle to survive. The quest for signs of life on Mars has taken a significant leap forward with a groundbreaking discovery made by NASA's Perseverance rover. It found organic molecules near ancient water sources within the Jezero crater, marking a crucial milestone in our exploration of the red planet.
Organic molecules, which consist of carbon atoms and are essential for life as we know it, were detected by the rover's Sherlock instrument. These molecules were found in the sediment of the crater, which formed approximately 3.5 billion years ago and had been accumulating sand, dirt, and salts over time. The presence of organic molecules in the Jezero crater sediment, intertwined with sulfates, is reminiscent of similar environments on Earth where organic matter is preserved and often associated with signs of life. This discovery holds tremendous significance as it indicates the possibility of Mars once having the necessary conditions to support microbial life. It is important to note that the origin of these organic molecules is still being investigated. While they could potentially be remnants of ancient Martian life, they could also have formed through natural processes unrelated to life. To gain a deeper understanding, scientists plan to retrieve samples from Mars and bring them back to Earth for comprehensive analysis. The successful return of these samples would provide an unprecedented opportunity to study Mars' geological history, the potential existence of past or present life, and the implications for our understanding of the possibilities of life beyond Earth. As we set our sights on the colonization of Mars, SpaceX, under the leadership of Elon Musk, and NASA are at the forefront of developing ambitious plans and technologies to make this dream a reality. SpaceX's Starship, equipped with its cutting-edge Raptor engines, holds great promise as the spacecraft that could transport humans to Mars. Interestingly, NASA has also recognized the potential of Starship and selected it as the first crewed landing module for the moon as part of the Artemis 3 mission. This collaboration between NASA and SpaceX aims to establish a lunar presence and utilize the moon as a refueling station for future Mars missions. The challenges that lie ahead for potential Martian colonists are formidable. Landing near the planet's equator, where the Valles Marineris canyons contain liquid water, could be a viable option for initial colonization efforts. Water is not only crucial for human survival, but also for supporting agriculture and sustaining other essential needs. The harsh Martian environment poses additional hurdles. Mars' thin atmosphere is composed of a toxic mixture of carbon dioxide, nitrogen, and argon, making it unsuitable for human respiration. To address this, NASA's experimental device called MOXIE, on board the Perseverance rover, is making significant progress in producing oxygen from Mars' abundant carbon dioxide. Elon Musk envisions building a factory on Mars to produce methane and liquid oxygen from the planet's resources. This would enable rockets to be refueled on Mars itself, making return trips to Earth more feasible. Additionally, the discovery of microorganisms in the subglacial lakes on Mars could provide valuable insights for protecting future colonists from the planet's harsh climate. The combined efforts of SpaceX and NASA, along with ongoing scientific research and technological advancements, bring us closer to the day when humans might walk on the surface of Mars and establish a sustainable presence on the Red Planet. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more captivating science content. Let us know in the comments below what you think about the possibility of life on Mars. Thank you for joining us on this incredible journey.